Well, good morning, dear ones. Good to have you with me again this morning. Beautiful, beautiful morning here. Uh, I should just let you get a look at the sky. Uh, boy, the way things are going here. Cloudy day, but it's going to be a beautiful day. And great to be here in Arizona with my sister, spending some time with her. And thankful to the Lord for his goodness. Gave us a safe trip down here. And uh, anyway, excited to be here. So uh, our reading today, 1 Kings chapter 3, uh, 2 Chronicles chapter 1, Psalm 78, and 2 Thessalonians chapter 2. Uh, a couple of verses in uh, Psalm 78 have really uh, caught my attention. There's just so much in this psalm that uh, goes on with Israel and how God is working in and through their lives. But let's just read a couple of verses and then we'll talk a little bit more about it. Psalm 78, uh, verses 7 and 8. That they may set their hope in God and not forget the work of God, but keep his commandments and may not be like their fathers, a stubborn and rebellious generation, a generation that did not set its heart right and whose spirit was not found faithful or was not faithful. So uh, just an incredible, uh, I guess to say an indictment, if you will. Here are here in, in, in two short verses is the summary of, of the history of the nation of Israel. Not, not only so, but the hope of Israel as well, because as we go through that Psalm, we see that back and forth. Uh, their history, which we are to learn from, is shown here as they go from uh, revival to retribution and everything in between that. Uh, from trusting God and declaring their allegiance to him to to worshiping gods of wood and stone. The original commandment was to teach it to their children and to their children's children in order to prevent that kind of thing from happening in their lives. Someone once said, I don't remember who it was, but I've always thought this was a great quote. The only thing we learn from history is that we never learn anything from history. And that really is true. We see people repeating the same thing over and over and over again. Uh, Paul spoke about that in his statements in, in Romans chapter 15, verse 4, and 1 Corinthians 10, verse 11, when he exhorted uh, the people that he was writing to in Corinthians and into Romans to pay attention to what went on in Israel so that, so that we would not repeat the same kinds of things that they did, the same sins, and then suffer the same tragic consequences that they suffered because of their rebellion. Uh, the rest of the whole psalm that is a reiteration of that same principle over and over again. The overriding thought that I saw here that is, uh, is so important that uh, even though Israel rebelled time and time again, God still had mercy on them. And in spite of their sin, he still loved them and cared for them. And, and my thought out of that was what a, what a wonderful and gracious God we serve. Uh, I think it's such an important lesson. For, for me personally to learn. But see, the thing about that is, is that even though we know God is going to forgive, we don't act with presumptuousness, just taking God's mercy and his grace for granted. The re sin is rebellion. And when we rebel and do our own thing, then there are consequences for that. Uh, I'm thankful though that we so serve a God who is so merciful and kind, that even though I fail over and over and over again, Peter said, Lord, seven times, that, would that be enough to forgive someone? And Jesus says, no, 70 times seven. Well, then how do we apply that in our lives and our relationship with God? Well, if, if, if we are to forgive that often and, and do that, and, uh, then how much more will God, who is far more loving, far more gracious than we are, forgive us? But that doesn't mean we just sin with impunity. Our, our, our goal is not to see how much we can get away with but our goal is to get as close to him as we can. And I pray that today that will be the thing that each and every one of us do. Make an effort to draw closer to God. Walk with him, love him, serve him, and, and uh, see what he wants to do in and through our lives. Amen. He has a great plan for our lives, and uh, we need to walk in faithfulness to that. Amen. Well, I pray the Lord will richly bless you today as you walk with him. Amen.